What's up, PT kids? It's Miss Jasmine here. I am bringing you another lesson. So we finished our series called Among Us last week. So if you want to figure out why am I shushing, you might want to go back to the last like three weeks and catch up on where we are. But today I'm going to do a short lesson and we're gonna have another series after this one, okay? So before we get started, of course, instead of a joke, I thought we were gonna do a riddle today. So the riddle goes like this. It belongs to you, but your friends use it more. What is it? What you think, what you think? All right, time's up. It is your name. <laughs> okay. So um, we live in a state that experiences a lot of changes. Um, there's usually a joke about how the state of Michigan uh, can change from one season to the next all in probably one hour. Um, for instance, when I was graduating from college, uh, I had my ceremony outside and the temperature went from hot to cold to hot then it hailed then it went back to cold then it went hot then it rained and then it just went straight cold and that was probably within a two hour time frame <laughs> so it is not uncommon for us to know that things change and that seasons change and so we're going to be taking a look at that but we're also going to be taking a look at how does god fit into all of the changes that we experience so think about the different seasons so you got uh, spring, you got summer, winter, and fall. So out of our four seasons, which one is your favorite? Okay, let's see if we have the, f the same favorite one. Mine is, well, I have a couple, but mine is uh, fall. I love fall because I like the crisp weather and I like wearing sweatshirts and I like going to the pumpkin patch. So I love fall, but there's also a season that I don't like. So how about you tell me what, your, what season you don't like? Your least favorite season. Okay, so let's see if we got the, the same one. Mine is winter. I cannot stand winter. There's parts of winter that I like, but I really don't like winter. I don't like all of the snow. I don't like how cold it can get. I don't like how much time, how many times I have to put on lotion. Like, I don't like winter. But um, there is a there is a purpose for every season, and so we're gonna check what uh, <laughs> I couldn't say the the Bible book. Okay, Ecclesiastes. All right, we're gonna look at chapter three, verses one through eleven, and it says, "For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven." A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain has the worker from his toil? I have seen the business that God has given to the children of, of man to be busy with. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. Okay, so you heard a lot of time to this and a time to that. So <laughs> let's explore just a little bit. So even though we have, like we we're talking about seasons, right? Our least favorite season, winter. You know, if that's not your least favorite season, you know, you can put your least favorite season in that category right there. But there is a purpose. So not only do seasons have their purpose, but there is times in our lives that have purpose as well. 
So there can be a time, which means that, you know, there's times that you're laughing, you're dancing, there's things that are going really well in your life. Maybe you're doing really well in school. You like your friends that you're hanging out with. You're, um, you are close to your parents right now, or you're getting along with your parents. <laughs> um, you're actually following through with what they're asking you to do. You got a new video game, a new Nintendo Switch, whatever. Um, so you got more subscribers on YouTube, on your YouTube channel. <laughs> so everything is going well, and you're feeling great. But then there's also it has to be times of things that we don't really like. So like winter. Um, or whatever season it is that you don't like. There is also a purpose for those times too. So sometimes I know that maybe because of virtual classes, your, your grades are really, really low. You're usually doing well in class, but you know, having to log into a computer and sit in front of it for eight hours is just not your thing. Uh, maybe you have lost some friends um, not being able to go to school for almost a year and you don't feel like you have anyone to talk to, or maybe you've lost some of your family or your friend or um, other people that you know that have passed away, um, not even just in the past year, but maybe um, some years ago that it still bothers you. Um, maybe you're not getting along with your parents and you're feeling really irritated and annoyed with your siblings and things just don't feel like they're connecting. So even though it feels like really uncomfortable, there's a reason for uh, the bad times as well okay so um, let's see so when so what I want you to know today is that seasons will change okay so bad times and good times they're gonna come and go they won't last forever you will change too so uh, you're going to be different as far as, you know, what you're going through and what you're experiencing from elementary to middle school to high school to college. Your desires are going to change as you grow and mature and as you change. So things are meant to change. Your friends and your family members will change. Not saying that your family will be somebody different, <laughs> but they're probably going to mature too, right? Because they're growing too. And your home your school or church may even change. We know that that has happened within the past year, right? And maybe even your hair may change. Whether you do that or it happens naturally, <laughs> um, your hair will change. So, but you have to know that God will never change. So out of everything that's fluctuating and turning and doing different things, God is gonna always be the same. And if you have a relationship with him, he will never leave you. He will always be there to help you through it. And God says that he has made everything beautiful in its time. So think about winter, like everything is dead in the winter. It's, you know, I went out for a walk yesterday and the grass is all burnt and crunchy and <laughs> the trees are bare. Um, maybe you don't see the sun as much in the winter, but that gives, we have to think that winter is a time of rest for nature, for things around us. There's one thing that I really like to do is I really like to see how the seasons change. If you really pay close attention, if you go out for a walk, go to the park, or even just looking out your window, you can, the nature will tell you when it's changing. Sometimes we're like, oh man, it was like 30 degrees out and now it's like 60 degrees. That's what we experience today, right? But, um, that's, the, that's nature telling you spring's coming. May not really be here, but it's coming. Uh, one thing that you can check for, I'll give you a little bit of a challenge, you can check for, look at the trees. That's one thing that I like to look at that tells me that something's changing. So I look at the trees. So look and see when the little buds on the trees start to come. That's gonna let you know that spring is near. And then one day you're just gonna see a full tree of leaves, okay? Or a tree full of leaves. I think I said that right. <laughs> okay. So, but with all the changes, God is still going to be the same. God says that he has made everything beautiful in his time. That means that he can take even the worst seasons of life and turn them into something more beautiful than we can ever have imagined. So our God is incredible. But we know, as we have been learning for the past, like, I think four weeks now, that we need God to experience his unchanging hand in our lives and to have that relationship with him. So before we end, I want to lead you into a prayer of salvation. And once you do that, God is with you and you can start walking out your relationship with him. 
All right, so just repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me for the wrong I've done. I want to be saved. I believe you died and rose again. Come into my heart. In your name, I pray. Amen. That's it. That's all you have to do. So that God is walking with you. I encourage you to get it plugged in. Uh, Pentecostal Temple is a great church to be plugged into. And you need to be plugged in so you can walk out that relationship with God. So that's all I have for you today. And next time, uh, we're going to be back to all of the silliness that uh, <laughs> I got up my sleeve, okay? So we will be starting a new series next week. See you later.